Hello, welcome. My name is Dr. Dereje from Jijiga University. I will be demonstrating the solutions of question number 8 and 7 from uh, Freshman Mathematics module, which is given as an exercise on page 12. So the first question, question number 7, we have two propositions, P and Q. The given information is, it is known, P implies Q is true. And the question is to determine the truth value of this proposition. The required information is to determine the negation of P and the Q by implies P or Q's truth value. So that means you have to check check whether this whole compound proposition is either true or false. What can be said about the truth value? This is the question. The truth value of because it is a proposition, it will be either true or false. Uh, we are going to determine whether it is false or true. P implies Q is true. Okay. This given information will help us to determine the truth value of P and the negation of Q, okay, by implies P or Q, P or negation of P and Q by implies P or Q. How do we do that? Let's try. P implies Q is true means there are three possibilities, okay, from the rule of implication. This is true. It is given that P implies Q is true. So P implies Q is true. It is equivalent to negation of P or q so if you consider for example drawing a table and determine the truth value of this compound proposition let's draw a table so there are uh, four alternatives here so finally the negation of p and q column three third column and the fourth column we will do this okay the third column and the fourth column so that means the negation of p and q false by implies true which is false false by implies true which is also false true by implies true which will be true false by implies true which will be also true so this is now the question was to determine the truth value of this compound proposition whenever p implies q is true you know that p implies q will be false only when the first is true and the second is false which is the second line the other one is true so we will now compare these two results we have to go to the line where p implies q is true there are three lines for p implies q to be true and we will see that whenever p implies q is true correspondingly the truth value of this compound proposition when okay when p implies q is true one it becomes false and the other third line it becomes true and the other for the line true so there are two possibilities for the combination of there are two possibilities now you can see that there are two possibilities whenever p implies q is true okay the negation of p and q by implies P or Q can be true or also can be false as we have seen. So here it has become false by this choice. Here it, it has become true you can see there are two possibilities so what can we what can be said about the question was what can be said about the truth value about What can be said about the truth value of this proposition? The question was this one, the truth value of this one. So it can be said about that this truth, the, this proposition can have both possibilities. It can be true or it can be false. It can be true or it can be false. So using this tabular method, we can show that Whenever P implies Q is true, our compound proposition may be false. 
or it may be true. So this is how you can do it using a table. The are, we can also uh, follow algebraic. Uh, we can also follow algebraic way to determine uh, to determine the okay the truth value of this statement. The negation of p and q by implies p or q. If you simplify it. If we simplify uh, this proposition, we can use simplify using uh, rules of uh, conjunction and also uh, because it is by implication, you can see that here. The negation of P and Q implies P or Q and P or Q implies again the negation of P and Q. These are the two possible uh, So this is equivalent to, we have changed it by implication into two implications using this conjunction. So the first one, implication is equivalent to the negation of negation of P and by De Morgan's law, this is negation of P of negation P, it will be P and here it will become Q, negation of Q or P or Q. So there is no another bracket needed because all are disjunctions we have reduced into similar here we have also negation of p or will change into end and here we have negation of q or okay negation of p and q so again we will continue here negation of p and q can be reduced by uh, using uh, commutative and associativity property together p or p is the same as p negation of p Q or negation of uh, Q or Q. So here and you can see that here you can see here one negation of P is here, another negation of P is here. By the reverse law of distributivity, this will be the, the negation of Q or Q. Okay, so we have this on the this is equivalent to this is also, also always a tautology, and here we have the negation of P and here also true. So finally. You can see that this is P, P or T is T, because tautology uh, distinction with any proposition P is uh, tautology. And here we have, and the negation of P or P, uh, sorry, a tautology with uh, distinction with P is uh, always a tautology. And here also, the distinction between a tautology and a proposition is the proposition itself. So uh, lastly, you can see that our result has reduced into tautology and negation of p which takes result for negation of p so negation of p takes two possibility of truth values one is false and the other is true so even if we haven't used the given information whether you use it or not you have finally reached at negation of p actually there is no place to use the given information in this uh, simplification even if we have been given that p implies q is true to determine given as uh, a given information that p implies q is true okay even if we have been given that uh, p implies q being true to determine the truth value of the negation of p and q by implies p and q, p or q finally this has reduced into the negation of p which can take either true or false what we can conclude is whatever the given information this has reduced into negation of p and value is it can be true or false because it is equivalent to negation of p. thank you for watching so <clears throat> so question number seven in conclusion we have uh, reached that that simplifying 
the compound proposition, even if the value of P implies Q is given to be true, we can say that P, negation of P and Q by implies P or Q can take both true and false true values. That is our conclusion. We will uh, continue to do question number uh, eight. So the first part, part A, says that suppose the value of P implies, what can be said about the values of P by implies negation of Q and negation of P by implies Q. So it is given that equation number 8a, P by implies Q is true. This is given true. This is given information. What is required? It is expected from us that we have to show that if P by implies, we have to determine the truth value of this and also the truth value of the negation of P by implies Q. Okay, so let's see the uh, solution in mirror diamond you know. Yeah, by implication, yes, yeah, by implication, rule in must also. There are two cases. Okay, case one when both P and Q are true. Okay, when both P is true and Q is true. That means now P is true, also Q is true. This means P is true and also negation of Q is false because P is true. So to do the first one. Image mirror. This implies P by implies negation of Q is equivalent to P is true by implies negation of Q, which is false. So this is actually false by the rule of by implication. By implication will be false when we have a, a different, two different uh, connectives. Uh, sorry, the truth values. That means the first is true. Okay, true by implies false is false. So case one is over. That means the truth value of P by implies negation of Q is the truth value of P by implies negation of Q is false. The second case, P by implies Q is true. Okay, the given information. P by implies Q is true whenever both are false. Okay, whenever both P, Q, R are false. That means P is false and Q is false. So this means negation of P is true. Step by step, this is called direct proof. By the way, direct proof no mipalo. At the top, can do step or can do construct here. No mipalo. So let's see the negation of P by implies Q is equivalent to because now we have determined the truth values directly substitute argon true by implies false, which is false. So now we have determined the truth value of pause. We have determined the truth value of both P by implies negation of Q and negation of P by implies Q. We have determined the truth. Having known that P by implies Q is true, we have determined uh, the truth value of both to be false. Okay, both to be false here. Here also false. So this is uh, how you can directly determine. You can use also tabular method. Okay, so for all of you, 